Okay, sounds for quiz three. We'll start again with the easier ones. So this is the sound k, k. This is the sound g, g. This is the sound nga, nga. All right. We never have this at the beginning of a word in English, so it's going to be hard for you to say nga, but we'll work on it. So this is the sound like at the end of the word thing or sing, right? We write it this way, okay, but it is not, right? This is, that's again the way you write it, that's spelling in English. It's one sound. You don't say thing, nga, g, right? You say thing, nga, 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 that's one sound. All right, so, and to hear the difference, like say the word thin, thin, because you think of it maybe as an NG, but say thin, na, 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 feel where your tongue is thin, na, 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 right, your tongue is up there. Then say thing, thing, nga, 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 nga. It's the back of your tongue that's making that sound. So thing, sing. And the way you learn to say it at the beginning of the word is if you say like, Sing, uh, sing, uh, 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 and you can start to say it. Okay, but that is the, that is the, it's called an ng, so ng, ng, ng sound. All right. When you're transcribing, you'll only be using it in the middle or at the end of words. This is not going to be on the phonetic chart. This is called an affricate. It's actually a stop, the stop sound t, put together with sh. And it is going to be what we think of as the ch sound. All right, so if you put together, if you say tasha, 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 cha, 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 so this is cha. This is a sound we haven't done yet. It's going to be the sound ja, ja, like think of saying like measure that in the middle of the word measure that sound, ja, ja, ja or leisure, leisure, zhur, 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 zhur. All right, ja, we don't, it's not a common sound in English, it comes from French, but that's the sound ja, 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 right? It's not like ja, which is this sound, all right? People get these mixed up sometimes, but this one has a da, a stop, and then a ja. So the, they'll, this is the symbol, this is this um, D and Ja is how we say ja, 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 our regular ja, all right? This is the symbol ja. So this would be like words in this sound, symbol you use for words like jump, joy, joyful. If you were using this sound for those words, it would be jump, joy, joyful, right? It's different. Ja, ja, ja is not the same as ja, ja, ja. That's, this is the ja, all right? This is wa, just like you would think it is, wa, wa, wa. And we'll talk about why that's a little bit of a different type of sound later. But wa, that's easy. All right, then the rest of them are gonna be vowels. So I have to erase a bit here once more. Whoops. And then I will give you all the vowels that you need to know. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, oh yeah, we got two that are a little bit complicated. <laughs> and, oh yeah, we have some hard vowels today. Okay. And we have this. That's it, okay. All right, so this and this sound, these two sounds are gonna be almost the same in terms of when I, when I say them. This is the sound uh, uh, uh. This is the sound huh, uh, uh. They're actually a little bit different, but when, as far as you're concerned, this is always the sound in an unstressed syllable. So actually, when I do the quiz for you, I'm not gonna be able to make this sound. You don't have to worry, but I'm showing it to you now. This will be the sound I make, because I will only make one sound. So I'll be saying uh, as in hut, all right? This sound is that uh sound when it's in a stress syllable, like hut, bud, mud, uh, uh, uh. This is always in an unstressed syllable. 
So when I say about, that first uh, 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 about is this sound. And we'll go over this more in class. But so don't worry about this for the quiz. I'm just pointing it out now. You will, this will be the one that's possibly on the quiz, the uh, uh. This is the sound ah, like if you're saying awesome, ah, and your lips are rounded. It's gonna sound very close to the ah. Uh, open your mouth and say ah. Uh. This one is ah, uh, ah, uh. so it's close, but it's a little different, it's rounded. Some people actually do not have this sound in their dialect, some American speakers. So some of you might have a little bit of a trouble, but hearing the difference between this sound and this sound, all right? But this is a sound like in the word, um, uh, so if you're saying like the name Dawn, D-A-W-N, like Dawn, on, dawn, that's this vowel. If you say don, ah, ah, don, like open your mouth and say don, like D-O-N. If you say those two sounds, those two names differently, you have these two vowels and they're slightly different. This would be the vowel in the, in the word like caught, I caught a ball, ah, ah, ah. And this is the sound like a cot that you sleep on, C-O-T, a cot. Okay, cot. And so some people don't have a difference between those two words, and we'll talk about that later. But this is the aw, awesome sound. This is the ah, ah, open your mouth wide, ah sound. In this one, you're rounding your lips more. You're kind of saying aw, aw, right? In this one, you're just saying ah, ah. Okay. Then we have this. This is the sound uh, as in hood, could, should, would. It's not a super common sound in English, but it's still important like the uh, uh, sh, uh. So this is different. This is like the uh, uh. This is uh, uh. So those two are a little, they're close to each other, but this is then should, could, would, right? This is like in mud, could. Then this is the last diphthong for you to know. This is oi, oi, like in boy, toy, avoid. Oy, all right? And once again, you have to do exactly this. If you do this, whoops, if you do this and this, you're not doing this sound. So this is oy. You don't have to make the line under it, but you can. Speech pathologists usually do do that for all diphthongs. All right, that's oy. And that is it.